All right, guys, this is uh, Ryan with Western Maryland Bushcraft. Come back to you with part three on our candle making series. We actually have uh, a little tallow candle I can show you here for an example. And uh, this one, if you can see, this is made of deer tallow. It was a little bit old. This is from a deer that had been shot that uh, I actually found that somebody had shot out of season and didn't uh, come to collect their quarry when they shot it because it was on a different plot of land. And uh, this one, I'll light it real quick here for you, and we'll let it burn so you guys can see how they, uh, the tallow burns in candle form while we work on uh, finishing up our candle that we're making for the video here. Alright, I went ahead and, as I said in part two, how you can make um, two candles while dipping and double your speed with the process. I added another wick on here and we're going to dip two at a time. They're nice and cool so we can probably go ahead and get two, uh, two cycles of dips on our candle. Starting to get a little bit of wax build up on the second one. Not letting us dip it in the wax as deep so we're going to try and pull some of that off so we can get our candle going even all the way up. Take and shorten it a little bit from the bottom and start adding more wax. Wax is starting to get to that sweet spot point I was telling you guys about where it uh, layers a lot better so you don't have to take as many breaks in between. As you can see, it's adding a lot more to the candle each time we dip it. let her hang here for a minute so she can cool off so we can add a couple more uh, layers and should be almost done on our candle here probably about halfway done just because we're in that sweet spot right now and as you've noticed I've been uh, dipping the candle touching it on the edge of the wax here just drop that back down in there what I'm actually melting the candle wax in is a uh, it's an old iced tea pitcher that I got from uh, from a restaurant supply store that I've been using to melt my wax in when I make candles for quite a while now. There we go, we're adding probably a good millimeter when we dipped that time because it's getting really good in that sweet spot. As you can see with our tallow candle, that's burning pretty good just for some uh, deer fat. let it cool. Deer fat's burning real good. Actually smells a little bit like cooking deer meat so it might make you hungry if you're out in the bush for too long. Alrighty, and dip her in here again. Same build up that was happening on the other, our first candle. It's happening here on our second. So we'll just snap that off. Take a little bit off our first candle. Try and keep them um, the height that we intend. Push up a little bit on the bottom. Keep it flat on both candles. We'll take and dip them in here again. Candles were made this way uh, with all different materials for quite a long time. I'm not sure on the exact dates when candles were developed, but I'm sure this was the original way that they were made. Fire is getting a little low, so uh, I'm going to do one more dip for our candles and then I'll let them cool for a minute while I try and uh, add a little bit more fire wood over here from our little wood stash I got going in the back of the shelter. Just poke in here a little bit, flatten her out, throw another small log on there. Don't want too much fire because then it'll make some extra smoke for you guys that you'll have to look through. And then uh, since we're in that sweet spot, the wax isn't dripping off as much. It's building up on the bottom. It's a little bit heavier than it should be. 
It's one of the disadvantages to speed with these. Pinking dipper again. It's actually starting to harden on the bottom of the can. I can feel it because of the cold ground that it's sitting on. You could probably insulate it with a little better with the blanket, but I wasn't thinking to do that. Good dip, give it one more, and then we'll let it cool for a minute. And we'll get on to part four of this video. It's going to be a four part series, most likely. Might have another one with uh, making golf wax later on. That won't be today, though. Give it one more dip here. And then we'll get ready for part four. It's been Ryan with Western Maryland Bushcraft. Thanks for your views, thanks for your support. And if you can, please comment and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you'd like. And uh, have a good day. This will be. We'll be back in a minute with part four.